according to the figure, the distance from the vertex to the center is six. This is the radius and the distance from the center to the base of the triangle will be called lowercase h. Now, the area of a triangle is half of the base times the height. The height is given and it's equal to h plus 6. Now the base can be found from the smaller triangle in red which has a height of lowercase h and the hypotenuse the hypotenuse will be the radius, so the hypotenuse is 6. 6 squared is equal to h squared plus the smaller base, we're going we're gonna to call it lowercase b, of the, low, of the smaller triangle. 36 is equal to h squared plus b squared b squared will be 36 minus h squared and b will be the principal square root so the positive square root of 36 minus h squared now the height of an isosceles triangle is the perpendicular bisector of the base so the left side will also be square root of 36 minus h squared so altogether the base is twice this amount so the base is 2 times square root of 36 minus h squared now that we have uh, everything in place we can write the area in terms of h and it'll be one half the base which is two square root of 36 minus h squared times the height and the height will be h plus six we are going to simplify it by two and also we're going to write square root of 36 minus h squared with fractional exponent so it's going to be 36 minus h squared to the one half times h plus six to make the derivative easier so we're going to use uh, the product rule and uh, for 36 minus h squared to the one half we're gonna use the chain rule it's gonna be one half 36 minus h squared to the one half minus one which is negative one half times the derivative of the inside which is negative 2 h times h plus 6 plus f which is 36 minus h squared to the one half times the derivative of h plus 6 is 1 a prime of h is equal to now negative 2 over 2 will be negative 1 so it's negative h times h plus 6. The expression with the negative exponent will go to the denominator. So it's going to be 36 minus h squared to the 1 half. Plus 
36 minus h squared to the one half. e prime of h is equal to negative h squared minus 6h when we distribute negative h over 36 minus h squared to the one half plus 36 minus h squared to the one half over one. Now the LCD is 36 minus h squared to the one half. To combine these two fractions, we need the LCD. We will multiply the second fraction by 36 minus h squared to the one half over 36 minus h squared to the one half. The first one is okay. It has the lowest common denominator. A prime of h is equal to negative h squared minus 6h plus 36 minus h squared to the one half times 36 minus h squared to the one half will become just 36 minus h squared, 36 minus, minus h squared to the first. And we keep our denominator. So minus h squared plus minus h squared will be minus 2 h squared minus 6 h plus 36 divided by 36 minus h squared to the one half, our denominator. Uh, what else can we do? We can factor out negative two. And when we do, we will get positive h squared plus 3h minus minus 18 divided by our denominator 36 minus h squared to the one half this is our denominator and uh, notice that uh, when we're looking for the critical points of the derivative to find the max, the, the denominator equal to zero is not that important because if h is equal to six, we don't have an isosceles triangle. So we set the numerator equal to zero and of course, negative two cannot be equal to zero. So h squared plus three h minus 18 should be the one equal to zero. And the factors are h plus six times h minus three. And when h plus six is equal to zero, h is equal to negative 6. The side cannot be negative, so we reject that. So we just have to check for h equal to 3. Now, when we check for h equal to 3, we're going to test a number before 3. Let's say we test for 1. 6 plus 1 is positive. And 1 minus 3 is negative. So a negative times a positive is negative. Times negative 2, it becomes positive. Similarly, when we test for 4, 6 plus 4 positive. 4 minus 3 is positive. And then a 
positive times a negative is negative. So it goes from positive to zero to negative. So three is a maximum. So the maximum value is at h equal to three. Therefore, the height of the isosceles triangle with the maximum area will be three plus six, which is nine. And the base will be two times square root of 36 minus three squared square root 36 minus 9. The base is therefore 2 square root 27. And 27 is 9 times 3. So the base is 2 times square root 9, which is 3. So it's 6 square root 3. The area of the largest isosceles triangle is half of the base one half times six square root of three times the height which is nine half of six is three and three times nine is 27 so that area is 27 square root of three